In this video we're going to solve a couple of problems involving logarithms. Uh, so we have a couple of logarithmic equations. So in the first one, best move is to subtract that one across first. So what we'll have is log of 2t plus 1 equals negative 1. Now this is a base 10, because there's no base there. So 10 to the negative 1 equals 2t plus 1. Right, so you can do this as a decimal or as a fraction. I'm going to do it as a fraction. So 10 to the negative 1 is 1 tenth equals 2t plus 1. And I'm going to subtract 1 off of each side. So what I'm going to have, this is equal to negative 9 tenths. So I have negative 9 over 10 equals 2t. Dividing both sides by 2, or multiplying by 1 half, I get t equals negative 9 over 20. Okay, so the big thing is rewriting it as an exponential. That's how you're going to get that out of a log. The second one here is going to be really similar, but we are going to have to apply a property of logs first. We need to rewrite this left-hand side as a single log. They're both base 2, and because it's addition, that means multiplication. Log base 2 of x times x minus 2 equals 3. Now let's rewrite this as an exponential. The base is 2, so 2 to the third equals x times x minus 2. 2 cubed is 8, and if I distribute this x, I have x squared minus 2x. Right? You, you can try and take the square root now, you can try and add the 2x, it's not going to work. What we're going to have to do is treat this as a quadratic, so we want to get it equal to 0. So we have 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now we can look to see if it'll factor or check our graphing calculator. This one will factor. It factors into x minus 4 times x plus 2 which gives us two solutions, x equals 4 and x equals negative 2. Now there's something we need to be aware of here. That is that the domain of logs is that its input has to be greater than or equal to 0. 4 will be okay. 4 and 4 minus 2 are both positive, but negative 2 is not. It does not fit within our domain. So only 4 is a solution to this equation.